Bonjour tout le monde. <clears throat> Hi everybody. My name is Jennifer. I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller. And on this channel, I like to make reseller content. You will see thrift hauls and you will see um, what sold videos and sometimes just other things that I can think of to put in. Um, I've only been at this for almost a year. I think my year anniversary is coming up in maybe March or April. I'll have to look back and see. And it started as <clears throat> a um, cleaning out my aunt's garage. Um, my, my cousin passed away and she had just been storing things, storing things, storing things in my aunt's garage. We had several yard sales, and I don't know if you've ever tried to put together a yard sale, but that's a lot of work. That's a whole lot of work. And she had um, a lot of football jerseys and things like that. And I said, well, let me let me take all this and try to try to sell it. And um, I, I was able to sell it all on Poshmark. It didn't sell in the yard sale. I was able to sell it all on Poshmark. And it kind of blossomed from there. It kind of took off. I said, okay, well that worked. And I started digging in my closet and getting out things that I didn't wear anymore and selling those things. So. Um, I started watching YouTube videos and saying, you know, well, what else is possible? What are other people doing? And um, I was able to learn a lot. I still make a lot of mistakes, but um, that whole intro <laughs> was to tell you, hey, today is a good old fashioned thrift haul from a area uh, thrift store. It, it exists in Virginia pretty much in the Norfolk, Virginia Beach area and the Richmond area. It's very local. And um, one thing that I know a lot of people that frustrate a lot of people is when a thrift store prices things individually, and they do. They don't have just a set price for tops or a set price for bottoms. Everything is individual. They do go through sometimes and mark things down. So, I, I haven't processed any of this as far as like washing it or anything like that. Um, so you'll get to see the prices and, and everything. And then we'll go over my numbers afterwards. This is a small thrift haul compared to what I usually do. So we're not in for a long time. So let's get started. And before I grab the first thing, do you see him standing behind me? You see this guy? If you are interested in reseller content. If you are interested in watching somebody's um, attempt at a side hustle, an, a second business, and, and watch them grow along the way, I urge you or um, urge, that's a not a good word. I suggest, better word? You know what, subscribe, subscribe and check out my videos and see, you know, hey, is she getting any better at this? Mm. Okay, and if you like this specific video, things that I show, the way that I present it, I would love it if you hit that like button. That would make me happy. And comment, I would love comments. Okay, all right, let's get started. Yeah, you did see this guy, right? This is one of the bouncy tiggers. Um, he was, 398 you can you might be able to see that it might be backwards but he's got you put batteries in him and he bounces here's the sad thing i just put new batteries in him this morning and i cannot get him to work yeah i put him in right i double checked um you you know <laughs> i was like golly i can't make him work i don't the button the on off button feels very loose so I don't know if it's not connecting. It's not worth it to me to try to figure out. So here's my plan for spending $4 on something that doesn't work. I will check on reseller platforms, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. See if anybody is else is selling one that maybe doesn't work or selling one for parts. And if so, I'll look at the pricing and I may price him based on that. Um, and if I don't think that that's going to be worth my time, worth my while, I'll just either keep him as something funny sitting in my house because Tigger always made me laugh or I'll re-donate him. Maybe I'll sit him on my nightstand next to my Batman clock 
And uh, so, yeah, I got a Batman, a really old fashioned Batman club. Um, maybe I'll sit him there and, and he'll make me laugh. Sometimes that happens, you guys. You buy something, especially something that may be battery operated. Sometimes that just happens. And for whatever reason, it doesn't work. That's okay. You know, we're, we are, we do make mistakes. Mistakes are made in business all the time. All right, so let's move to the next thing as I look and see which, which side it is. Um, since this guy is sitting on top, I will start here. This is L.L. Bean, and you see that it still has a tag. Even though it's torn, it still has a tag on it. It's like a toiletry case. So you can, um, let see my ring light in it. Oh, that's bright. You hang it up, and it's got even a, a smaller one, I think, that could hang up also, which I think this would be great for the shower. It's got netting, netted pockets, and a netted back pocket. So you could stick your little shower, your shampoo, your maybe liquid soap or something, um, conditioner, and hang it up in the shower. And I, it's, you know, it's that um, nylon material, so it's fine if it gets wet. Um, but it's got spaces for everything in it. All these pockets. I love bags like this. I love to pick up bags like this. LL Bean is a great name. We know that in outdoor gear um, and traveling and things like that. So. Um, I'm just a sucker for these bags. It has side pockets. I didn't even notice these. Let's open those up and see if there's anything fun in there. So just a, just some more storage area. So I think this would be great for traveling. I am an avid camper. I still tent camp. I have way too much camping gear for any regular person. It takes My camping gear takes up half of my walk-in closet. I love to camp. So something like this, fantastic. Uh, you don't see a price tag on it anywhere. I took it when I took all my stuff up. I was like, hey, I said, there's no price on this. And um, she goes, okay. And you know, she kind of looked it over, looked it over and then just said it and, and then picked up the next thing and started putting in prices. And I said, well, what price did you put on it? She said, none. I got this for free. <laughs> I got this for free. So I was excited about that because that lowered my cost of goods by being able to put in something um, that was free and average that into my cost of goods. We know that that brought it down. All right. Do y'all know? Parents might know what this is. This is this is a lovey. My first lovey that I've ever picked up. How much was she? I think I may have taken the price tag off. I think this was $1.98. She's got crinkle ears. I'm like waiting to hear my cat come up behind me. Um, she's got these little crinkly ears. It's a little Minnie Mouse lovey. I need to give her a good bath. I might just throw her in the washing machine and then um, let her air dry. So as Amy from the Hustle Couple says, don't sleep on loveys. I know she she got the information from somebody that loveys sell well, and they do. If you think about it, these are security pieces for small, small children. And if they lose one, it, you know, it gets lost wherever, traveling, in the house. We know stuff like that happens. Parents will, will be looking for that exact lovey. They may look for that exact lovey. Hmm, my light turned off. They may look for that exact lovey early just in case one does get lost. So, um, a lovey, a Minnie Mouse lovey. Okay. Do you ever think of a brand that you really want to find? And once you do, like, well, a brand that you would love to find thrifting. And even if it's not the most sought after piece ever you just pick it up because you're excited to find that brand that's what this one was for me i have never found all right i don't know what's going on with this light it's just getting hot all right i have never found saint john i've never found it thrifting so i know that this is just a basic shirt it's got this cool geometric pattern. It's got some bling. I don't know if you can see it shining. I'm doing 
doing something wrong with this. Okay, I may have to pause this. Okay, I'm back. Um, This is my first time ever having or using a ring light, and I bought it off of Poshmark, but it seems to be overheating like at the plug, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I'll figure it out. Anyway, I was talking about finding St. John. I, I'm sure that more substantial pieces do better, but I was excited to find St. John for the first time. So it's this cool geometric looking with some um, with some bling and it was $3.99 and it's a size large. So I was happy about that. And you'll see at the end of the video that it, if I average in my total, my cost of goods, the $3.99 is, um, will be lower. So with my average, all right, next piece. Cabby, I don't know if this is old tag or new tag. I can never remember. Medium, it was $4.99, and it's this cute white and navy polka dot little sweater. I think this is adorable. <laughs> and I think it, maybe it's showing up black on the camera, but it is navy blue, um, medium. And I love all these giant dots. I think they're so cute. So I think this would be a great piece in a business casual type of office. All right, and I'm sorry for constantly turning my back to you, but I'm just like reaching weirdly for things. All right, I found this in the kids section. <laughs> I think it's um, Amanda Pruitt always says, don't skip the kids section because a lot of times adult clothes get put in the kids section. However, I do think this might be a child's dress. Um, and if anybody knows, if I think Free People makes clothing for children. So it says Free People 10. And I don't know if this is a little girl's, I think it is, a little girl's size 10 dress. So notice that it has the little adjustable spaghetti straps. And comes like that. It's got that panel in the back. It's so cute. It ties in the back right here so that you can tie it. Ta -da! And just look absolutely adorable. So what, what I will probably end up doing, because I don't know, um, is taking a picture, throwing it up in Google Lens and see what shakes out, you know, see what Google Lens tells me. And there's probably a, there's probably a style number on here. Let's do a quick look, see. Negative Ghost Rider, that pattern is full. Um, I don't see a style number. That tag must have gotten taken out. Either way, it's got this side zipper Gosh, that zips almost all the way down. And um, I just, it's adorable. It's got a very subtle geometric print. This little kind of detail, um, and it's embroidered. So I thought it was a very cute top. Now the thing of it is, is whether it is for kids or whether it is for adults, they priced it like it was for children. So I paid $2.69 for it. So. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, this, I was so happy to find this. Um, Where was I looking? I can't remember if I was looking in the right place, if I was looking in dresses or what. I cannot remember. It looks like it had a belt. I'm just gonna cut that off since it's torn. I will cut, cut both sides off. I'll, I will say, I think it came with a belt. The belt was not with it, or I don't have the belt anymore. Um, but anyway, this is this is Torrid, and it is priced at six ninety nine. It's a Torrid two, so that's similar to a size twenty or a two X. But it is you see that it's like a rust color, and it's got white stripes, and it's a jumpsuit. So I absolutely love this thing it looks like i've got oh yeah it had fuzz stuck to the bottom um it is a long probably rayon it feels like rayon jumpsuit so 
Um, I was so happy to find that because these are still trending. They're still on, on trend. Um, I was looking to see if I could find a materials tag. I won't bother with it right now. But anyway, a Tora jumpsuit, I thought it would do well. It's got smocking in the back. Like I said, it's great size, size 2X. And it's got pockets. It has pockets. So I will probably put that in my title. So I'll put with pockets because that's always a good thing. People always want pockets in their clothes. All right. Last two things are kind of a multiple thing. So this, um, this particular thrift store does what we call junk bags where they do these bags, they tie them shut and they put one price on the bag. So $3.98. So I'm looking at this. I looked at it in the store. It was, it was different because I've already opened it to see what was in it what I bought in my junk bag, but I did see, I couldn't tell what everything was, but I did see Ray Dunn on one of the tags. And I was like, hmm, okay, I'll take some Ray Dunn. So it ended up being a bag full of um, baby headbands, but it did have this Ray Dunn, what do they call this, a bandana bib. I didn't even know that was a thing. My child, <laughs> I say my child, my um my son is almost 30 so i haven't i haven't needed a bib in years um so it's got this this little heartbreaker apparently this was part of a set but this is a ray dunn little bandana bib and it was a part of a valentine's day set i think so um there's that there's another little bandana bib and it's got the fleur de lis on it which is a well-known symbol in New Orleans or Louisiana, Canada. That's Quebec's national symbol. And it's the national flower of France. Um, and then you just got a basic black one. Um, a little bib. Now, I think that Ray Dunn one, that Ray Dunn one would... Or I think all of these, never mind. All of these would even look good on a on a dog so because I, I thought that they were for dogs but no bandana bibs are a thing and then there are and what i'll probably do is just sell these three together um and because they're they're small lightweight i know that on poshmark nobody wants to pay seven dollars and 67 cents to have three bibs shipped to them so what i'll probably do is price it to where i can make a little money and put um, either really discounted shipping down to the $4.99 or put free shipping on it because nobody wants to pay $7 to have that sent to them. Um, the rest of this is all baby headbands. Some of them, you know, you can see that it's new on the card. Uh, this is like a whole little baby set with a headband and some little footy things and some little hand things. I think, or maybe they're all hand things. My um, string's getting caught on everything. So, um, there's that. I, there's just there's just so much in here. I think there is even a, I might have seen even a Ray Dunn one in here. There's another one. Um, all headbands. All little girl headbands. So, I will probably sell this entire lot as one thing. So, here's the thing. I paid four dollars for the bag i think separating that and selling these in lots i will definitely be able to make my money back um yes this was the raid oh jen um hi i disappeared i'm back um <laughs> this is the the raid done little headband there's the they're so soft it's like the nicest cotton ever I say cotton. I'm sure it has spandex in it because it stretches. But, um, oh no, it does say cotton. It does say, oh, this one doesn't stretch. So maybe you just tie it on. Yeah, I think you just tie it on. So there we go. Lots of, lots of baby headbands. Um, like I said, I will put a price on it. Probably throw 
free shipping on it because this would fit in a padded mailer really easily and I'll let it go. So there we go, junk bag number one. We have one more junk bag to go through. Oh, and one thing that I bought for myself. And then we'll look at my numbers. All right, so I saw this junk bag for $1.98. And I saw one thing in it that I wanted and I didn't care any about anything else. And it was this, it's another lovey. And this is the softest lovey you've ever felt. And it's got, um, I think this is a pacifier holder. So this is just a cute little lovey, so soft. It's in great condition. I mean, it looks super clean and yeah. I was just too, too happy to pick this up. I think it's called Blankets and Beyond. I think that was the name. The tag has been cut off. It's got this cute little crocheted edge, but there's where the tag would have been. There we go. Um, and and yeah, like I said, it's so soft. So yeah, I, I didn't care what else was in the bag. I wanted this. I wanted this lovey. So there we go. Um, and it, I mean, it had some other goofy stuff in there. So this looks like something for a baby. I'll probably redonate that. And I have no, no idea what this is, but you can put your hand in it. I am not going to put my hand in this. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're just not going to do it. I don't, I don't know. Um, does anybody else have irrational fears about putting their hands in things? Um, I'm always afraid when I put my hand in a glove that there's going to be a spider or something in there. I'm, irrational fears. Yeah, that's your girl. All right, last, well, I say last thing. I said that was the last thing, but I did buy myself a game because how can you be a self-proclaimed crazy cat lady if you don't own Catopoly? Um, so the name of the company that makes this is called Late for the Sky. And I, my son and I collect Monopoly games. I'll have to count to see what this gets us up to. But we have just a large, large, I'm like looking up there at it. Now we have World of Warcraft Monopoly. We have Lord of the Rings Monopoly. We have regular Monopoly. We've got a bunch of Monopoly games. So I, I had to get Catopoly. Um, they tape them shut and I am not the kind of person that's going to try to get into it to see if everything was there. That's just, I'm, too, I'm, I'm a chicken. I'm so scared to do stuff like that. So it did have everything except for the right markers. They had these generic wooden game markers in there. So my crazy self, or maybe not crazy, maybe you call me my smart self. My smart self um, went, there's the board if you wanted to see the board. Um, I went on eBay and I looked for the game markers and I found them a little like pewter or metal ones. And I, I bought them on eBay for less than $10. And I've already got them ready to go. So when my son comes to visit me this summer, he lives in Minnesota. When my son comes to visit me this summer, um, we will definitely play some Catopoly. So that was it, you guys, that was my haul. Uh, what did you, what did you think? Are, do you sell, do you sell loveys at all? And, um, you know, the little, these little guys, do you sell those at all? What'd you think of the haul? What'd you think? Oh, let's go over my numbers. So I did say I would do that, right? And, and tell me about, tell me about any brands that you are hoping to find. I didn't have St. John on my radar, but you know, it is one of those brands that I see people get, and, and talk about it in their in their haul videos and and that it's a desirable brand so I was excited to find it or what brands out there I have been manifesting in my head this year talking about uh, finding Johnny was I would love to find some Johnny was and some Birkenstocks so haven't yet haven't found either one yet but Hey, we're only two months into the year and I got a lot of shopping to do. So let's talk about my numbers. If you've seen my last video, I showed you, I write everything down. I realize this is an old fashioned way of doing things. I'm an old fashioned girl in a lot of ways. Look, I even did long division to figure out my cost of goods. 
That's my level of nerd. All right, so where's your level of nerd? Um, so it turned out that minus the Catopoly game, I spent $30.58. I got nine things for that $30.58. So my cost of goods shows up as $3.39. I'm probably and nine, yeah, eight, one, seven, three thirty nine point seven. So I bumped it up to three forty. That's my cost of goods. I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's bad at all. I think that I can sell all kinds of stuff from this um, for a good amount and be able to make a profit on this haul. So I appreciate you all watching and I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I will put out in the middle of this week, probably Wednesday or Thursday, a what sold video for the last half of February. Right now, I'm still not selling a ton. I don't, I don't sell things. I don't even have sales every single day. Um, and, and I say that it's because I'm new at this. I'm still, I'm still getting used to putting, um, things that are sought after in my closet and stuff like that so that I can make sales. So I'm doing my my what sold videos like every two weeks you know when it increases then i'll increase those but this wednesday or thursday i'll put out a what sold video so you guys can find out what sold in the last half of february i have a what sold video out for what sold in the first half of february so go watch that because you'll see i think you'll see a difference i think you will see a difference in what sold february 1st through the 14th and then what sold the 15th through the 28th. I gotta wait and cross my fingers. I just had one sale this morning, a bundle sale, yay. And, um, you know, see if any sales come in the rest of today and tomorrow, and then I'll, I'll make the video for that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, again, I appreciate it if you like this video, if you comment, if you subscribe, I definitely appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday and a great week coming up, okay? I will see you next time. A tout à l'heure.